Please welcome UCLA Chancellor Gene Block. Good morning. Good morning. And I'd also like to recognize the Tangva Gabrielin of people who allow us to use this wonderful campus we call UCLA. And welcome to all of you that are not living at UCLA, and most of you are visitors, so uh, it's great to have you here. And we're happy to be hosting this uh, amazing conference. <clears throat> when we designed this conference center and built it a few years ago, our dream was this would be a convening place where people would come together, would express their views, to actually creative academic enterprise on campus in a convenient location, and we're really happy that I see it come to fruition and we're having these fantastic meetings. So, so many people in this room play important roles in educating, raising awareness, and finding solutions to climate change, perhaps the single greatest threat to our world. Well, we know that. We watch what's happening around us. It's appalling. It's appalling how quickly it's happening and how difficult it is to change course. I'm deeply grateful to the California State University and the University of California Office of the President for organizing this important summit. This is really an effort to bring two great institutions together to solve problems important to both of us. We are also glad that President uh, Janet Napolitano and Chancellor Tim White are joining us today, as, as well as I believe Mayor Garcetti will be here. Uh, most important, our former governor, Jerry Brown, is with us, and uh, thank you for being here. And I think Alini, thank you. And I believe later today, our current Lieutenant Governor, Lenny Kulnakis, will be here as well as the President of the National Academy of Sciences, Marsha McNutt, and so many others. So this really brings together, all of you are important, but this really brings together leadership uh, throughout this nation in dealing with this issue. So no matter where you come from, whether it's academia, industry, government, everyone has an important role in preserving the environment, whether it's through research, education, or policy making. UCLA is working to do our part on so many fronts, from the Institute of the Environment and Sustainability, to the Emmett Institute on Climate Change and the Environment, to our own Graduate School of Education and Information Studies, which has also helped organize this summit today. When big problems emerge in society, scholars come together across disciplines in search of solutions. That's what comprehensive universities are about, to really bring the best and the brightest across many, many different areas of scholarship. At UCLA, faculty have rallied around our sustainable LA Grand Challenge. This is an extraordinary and ambitious interdisciplinary initiative working to transition Los Angeles from 100% to 100% renewable energy, local water, and healthier ecosystems by 2050. As most of you know who live down here, much of our water comes from up north. And uh, that's not necessary. We actually have uh, water resources right here, but they have to be used more widely, uh, more wisely. We have to find ways of turning brackish water into fresh water more efficiently. But much can be done to make this region much more sustainable. Someday soon, of course, the next generation will have to pick up where we leave off. And that's why the conversations you're having today are so critical. I'm very proud of our efforts of our campus community to engage and educate pre-K through 12 students on these issues. I mean, it's remarkable how young people are taking the lead, but it makes great sense because they're going to be inheriting the challenges that, uh, in many cases, we've created. Our Institute of the Environment and Sustainability has produced videos on climate change for local teachers. Students at the UCLA Lab School have worked to reduce waste there and studied the collapse of bee colonies, so young people. By the way, we all should have early admission. I think both CSU and UC would benefit from some quick admissions offers <laughs> from what you heard this morning. These are really wonderful young people. And at the Horace Mann UCLA Community School in South LA, UCLA graduate student Heather Clark has teamed up with 10th grade chemistry teacher Diane Tu, sorry, Darlene Tu, uh, who we'll hear from shortly, to develop lessons that help students understand how climate change is experienced right in their community. Of course, there's much further to go and there's much more to do. This is an extraordinary problem that's going to take extraordinary action. Our future depends on it. We owe it to the next generation. We must get them involved and then we will follow them because they will be leaders. So thank you all for being here and the important work that you're doing. Uh, you're all busy and I know coming to LA, even coming from Westwood to UCLA can be challenging sometimes. <laughs> And in California, any movement is challenging, so we recognize many of you have come here from a distance, and we hope you have a very productive day. <laughs> 